My life is a miracle. Every child has a story of God's love to share. Shalom world, tune into God's love story. Hello, welcome to Shalom World TV. My name is Emma Sanchi. I'm Nicholas. Leah. Angela. Maeve. This is Seven Tears. The program where we explore the ways that Mother Mary felt pain. And learn how to ask her for help with their own pain. Through prayer and art. In this episode, we look at Mary's second tear, the flight into Egypt. Mary got on a plane? No, silly. That's flight, meaning to flee or to run away from something. When Jesus was a baby, the Israelites in Judea were ruled by King Herod. And Herod was afraid baby Jesus would become king someday and take Herod's power. Now, when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appears to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt and remain there till I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. And he rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. So Herod was going to kill baby Jesus? Yes. So Joseph, Mary, and baby Jesus had to run away from their home. That change must have been hard. What kind of change has been hard for you guys? I had hard change when my sister left for high school. I had a hard change when I had to stay away from home in the hospital for five days. I had a hard change when I lost my dog. I had a hard change when I moved into my new house. Angela, didn't your friend Cecilia also have a big change like that? That's right. My friend Cecilia moved into her new house not too long ago. She and her family had to been living with her at her grandma's house while they house hunted. She missed her old room with its violet walls and little window looking out at her apple tree. But here, she loved seeing her grandma smile in the morning or eating her cookies at night. But then the day came when her parents announced they had finally found a house. It was time to move in. Next morning, they all ran around their grandma's house gathering things to pack in the car and mover's truck, drive it to the new house, and unload the boxes into the driveway. The driveway was supposed to be their new home. Cecilia looked up at the strange building in front of her, took a deep breath, and marched inside clutching the box of her things in her arms. Cecilia moved from room to room hoping to see something familiar, but the rooms felt bare and cold. They felt weird. A hand suddenly grabbed her elbow. Come see our rooms. Cecilia's sister, Sophie, pulled her towards the stairs and up the carpeted steps. At the top landing, she pointed decidedly at a door on the right. That one's yours, she said before disappearing in the door on the left. Cecilia stood in front of her door. It felt too large. She stepped inside and you gotta be kidding me. The room was the ugliest orange. Grimacing, Cecilia walked to the closet on the left. Well, closet wasn't the right word. It was more of a wired shelf bolted to the corner wall. Turning right along the empty walls, those hideous walls, she saw a window on the far side. Hurrying over, she pressed her forehead against the glass and nothing, no apple tree. The glass blurred as her eyes filled with tears. Then she felt a hand again on her elbow. Hey, let's unpack your things, her Sophia said gently. Cecilia, sniffing, Cecilia silently turned and put down the box she had been clutching so desperately. Sophia lifted the flaps and gasped. The Holy Family statue, I thought we forgot it. She pulled out a statue of St. Joseph leading a donkey and seated on the donkey was, was Mary, desperately wrapping her cloak around the cold infant Jesus. You know, Mary had to find a new home too, Sophia said as she turned the statue in her hands. Her eyes flashed as she turned the statue so she was talking to the donkey. Mr. Donkey, would you be so kind as to ask Mary to help us today? Then replying to herself in a donkey voice, Ehaw, it would be my pleasure. <laughs> Cecilia laughed in spite of herself. Sophia smiled and the two sisters set to work making the room feel like home. With her sister's help, Cecilia was able to turn to Mary when the change was too hard for her. Let's see, explore how we can use art to see the beauty and change. Here we 
are doing the second tier, which, who remembers what the second tier was? Second star? The flight into Egypt. The flight into Egypt, that's right. And the theme for this one is change. Okay, we're now gonna turn to Isabella, who's going to explain what's going on here and what we're doing and how it relates to change. Okay, so we are going to be doing a sand art where you can use any of the colors that we have. I'm gonna put them in these Petri dishes. And we're doing this because change is sometimes difficult, but in the end, it will most of the time end up beautiful and have a good reason. And you can't ever really control it. And that's how the, it relates to the sand, because sand is always moving. If you pick it up, you can't really control if it moves or if it stays. That's why we're doing this project. Okay, great. So, why don't we each? <laughs> so we're gonna take any of the sands that we want. Like, you can have one, you can have multiple, you can have all of them if you really want to. And we're just gonna be putting them into the Petri dish. Don't overflow it. How much of any color, as long as you can still pick it up without it spilling out. I would say probably if you go halfway up, the dish, that's a good good way to go because then it can move around a bit. Okay? Dig in. Oh fun. It's kinda like curved it. Oh, yours is a nice mix. Oh, look at that. I like how you guys, it's both very well mixed, but yours is more red, and yours is more green and yellow. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, do we feel like we've all gotten the sand that we need? Okay, for, for the next step. Okay, so I want everybody to take your lid. Let me see your lid. Okay, very good. You're gonna put your lid on your Petri dish. Um, okay, and now we are going to take, we have three or four, four tapes here, okay? And you can take tape and you're gonna tape it all the way around so that it stays shut. Along like this. Oh, along the lid? Now let's all see. Everybody hold up your, if you need to hold it closed, you can. But everybody hold up your Petri dishes. And what happens when you go like this? It mixes. Is it Ooh, changing? It's like a wave. Wow. We're yeah. gonna go surfing. I wish I put a little character with it. Like and I surfboard. chose these colors because it still looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is movement, I'd say. Let me see yours. Oh no! I need like more tape to tape it down. <laughs> Can I have the leave one, Maeve? Oh yeah. I think we got some sand on the sticky part. Hey, Let's see yours, Mae. See the waves. The Irish waves. The look of the Irish. There it is. <laughs> I have rainbow waves. Although we are Irish, so. Wow. Okay, should we all do a wave with our sand waves? Do we know how to do a wave? Yes. When I start, I'll go. We'll go this way, but it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> Just 
just like us, Mother Mary knows how it feels like to go through change. Let us ask Mary to help us when we have to deal with something new and different. Mother Mary, in your life, the bully Herod gave you strife. For when his jealous heart held sway, to foreign lands you ran away. Help me, help me turn to Christ. When life is changed, rest sacrifice. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Seven Tears. Hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.